Okay, this is a quick tutorial about a very cool extension that I want to tell you about. The extension is a Joomla extension called SH404SEF. And what it does is it, um, it does search engine optimization and search engine friendly uh, URLs. It helps you get those with your Joomla site. It also helps with your 404 error pages and helps with um, security. So um, you can get it from this website, uh, dev.anything-digital.com. Look under products and go to SH404SEF, SEO and security. Um, it does, they have uh, put a cost on it. It'll cost you like uh, 30 some dollars to get a year membership and you can download the program for a year. So if there's updates within the year, you can download the new updates and then you can use it on all of your sites. And I think it's worth it. It looks like a, it's a pretty good um, extension for Joomla. And uh, Joomla.org has always ranked it really high as a, um, as a favorite extension to install. Um, a little bit about it here. You can click here on Take a Tour. Right? They've got some stuff that talks about it and uh, talks about you know, what it does. Um, let's see here frequently asked questions about it, stuff like that. Um, there was something I wanted to show you though. Let's see if I can find it. Um, let's see, take a tour. Here it is. Take the tour. A couple of things about it. Um, just zoom forward here. It adds SEO, search op uh, engine optimization features. Um, fixes some SEO issues within Joomla. So Joomla's built-in features that are under its um, global configuration page, there's always been some um, problems of it working. Improves security, right? Uh, it'll improve your search engine ranking, and then I'm not going to go into why, but it's it. there's a lot of reasons why it helps with that. Um, it can help protect your site from um, security attacks exploits like um, malicious page requests or flooding attacks or um, try uh, scripting attacks um, things like that um, so you know there's a security piece to it also um, and it helps with your um, site navigation and your search engine friendly URLs so what does that mean it means that with Joomla a link on your site might look like this mysite.com for example forward slash index.php question mark and then look at this you know this is Joomla language here the articles the contents these things don't work really well when Google is trying to uh, rank your pages having a URL in like this for a page is not as good as having one like this mysite.com forward slash SEO forward slash best dash practices dot HTML okay so um, what um, SH404SEF will do is it'll translate this type of link with all this kind of like nonsense into a much simpler link that based on the content on the page on the title of the page for instance okay and anyway so that's it and then a little more information here about about what it does and you can read through this when you get the time so I recommend you get it um, I've installed it here on my test site so on my test site, I went to extensions install and I installed it. And now I can go to components, SH404SEF, and I'll just show you how you use it. Okay, I've clicked on, um, there's a two modes. There's a standard mode and an advanced mode. Standard mode looks like that. Advanced mode gives you some more options to look at, but it's the same kind of stuff. This is where you'll find security attacks on your site. Over here, this is where you have your configuration panel. Okay, on you click on your configuration panel, and once this once the component installs, it's disabled by default. So you'll need to enable it right here, basically under the main configuration page. You click yes to enable, hit save, and then it'll be enabled. Now um, I'm working here locally on this site. This is a test site test site running right off of WAMP server on my local Windows Vista installation. So I have a little problem here with this one variable and it says hey there's no uh, live site is missing from your Joomla configuration file configuration.php file that is. So I could go in there and I could add that right no big whoop but if you go to one of my live sites 
like this site right here, which I use for my classes, and you go to configuration, you'll see that it's enabled and Joomla live site, right, is here and it's just my URL to my site, dancecourses.com. And this site's live and the other site's just local, so that might be part of the reason. Also, I could always go in and edit this configuration.php file, look for the line that says Joomla space live underscore site, right, and I could put in the value that I want, like, you know, this link, all right? Um, and now what this will do is it'll help me with my pages. So like if you go to dancecourses.com and you click on content management systems, the link, the URL in the window says dancecourses.com forward slash content management systems as opposed to a lot of um, Joomla code here or Joomla speak here that a search engine like Google is not going to like. And then here on my test site, it's the same thing but kind of different. So I'll show you. If I go to home, right? it says localhost test2, right? That's my site, test2 site. If I go to about us, it says localhost forward slash test2 forward slash index.php forward slash about us.html. Well, if you want to get rid of the index.php part, the index.php part, see if I go to our services, you'll see that it, it says our services at the end, so it's, it's fixed the URL, but it still says index.php here right? So the test2 site, index.php, our services. So if you want to get rid of the index.php part, then you need an additional configuration inside of um, SH404SEF. And what you need to do is you need to edit your um, file that's in your main directory. I'm going to go to my main directory here. This is where my site's located. And the file that you need to edit is your HT access.txt file. This is an access list file that's in the main folder of your Joomla site and to activate it, this access list file, you have to change it from htaccess.txt to .htaccess, right? So on my live site you can see that I've done that. Over here if I go to components extplorer or explorer, you'll see on my live site that I have a .ht access file that I have activated by changing it, renaming the file htaccess.txt to .ht access. Now, when you do that, you have to have your server, first of all, to be able to do this and change it to .ht access and have it work, you need to have your site on a Linux server. So my local server here, my local server, this is on a Windows Vista machine, so I'm not going to be able to use this ht access file on my local uh, Windows machine here. So it's not even going to be a thing on my local machine. But if I was to take this site and put it to a uh, web host and I made sure that my web host was a Linux web host, then I could use this. Now, if you decide to purchase web hosting from a Linux uh, based web host, which has Linux servers, that is, right, running Linux servers, then you could do this. Now, what this will do is if you activate your um, dot ht access file, it'll get rid of the index.php part. And I'm going to make one recommendation. Before you do that, before you rename your ht access file to dot ht access, um, I recommend you read this documentation here closely. And it tells you the benefits. It tells you that first of all this is a Linux type of server that you want to do this to, not a Windows IIS server. It also tells you that you'll be able to get rid of the index.php um, from the link, from the search engine friendly URLs, right? But it also tells you that PHP needs to be configured in a certain way on your server to get this to work. And you might have to contact your ISP to help change some of the settings in like, for instance, the mod underscore rewrite property of your PHP configuration. But it's really not a big deal. It worked on my server by default and uh, I was able to use my .ht access file and now I have search engine friendly links on my live site dance courses and I also have it on my test site here except that in front of um, in the URL it says index.php before it says our services but anyway I recommend SH404SEF definitely worth the price and uh, go get it it's an editor's pick on Joomla site